what's going on what's going on welcome back to the channel one man's walk i am your host gamal back at you with another one so what do we have for you today well i picked up a pair of the easy boots figured we talk about it but more importantly because i watched a ton of youtube videos before i bought it let's discuss the sizing shall we <laughs> so let's get to it right after this intro clean your house and use it you can clean too back so like i said welcome back to the channel um we are going to discuss today the yeezy boots i did pick up a pair um i've already tried them on haven't worn them more them but i did try them on you can see it right here so i'll put the boot to the side before we go any further um and really dive into the shoe let's do a little housekeeping if you guys have not already done so please make sure to like comment subscribe and turn on your post bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of this amazing content as you can see behind me we have up the latest video jay-z reasonable doubt um still continuing with the 64 greatest hip-hop rap albums ever to me i went ahead and pulled that up if you guys are interested in seeing the video for this that video is up as well when you go to my channel i do have playlists for the different type of videos that i make and you guys can check that out to see this as well you guys know you guys have seen the box the box is huge Huge. comparable to other Yeezy boxes this is really a really big box you see the box right here see it says desert boot on the side it's a little ripped I did get a 12 and a half so I'm an 11 and a half true to size a 12 typically is what I get in Yeezys if you watch my video on a 500 blush I did go true to size on that and it does fit fine um, there is no boost technology so you don't see that on here but this is a really really big box which is makes sense this is a boot right but I did get 12 and a half because of what everyone was saying so now when you take a look at the boot and yes I did get it from StockX I was not able to get it um, I didn't pay much on StockX over over asking price I tried not to pay if it looked like it's gonna be crazy I just tend to not but um, I do like these I want to say in hand these look nice actually look pretty premium these kind of remind me of the 500 blush which i have upstairs i guess i can grab them give me one second i'll be right back all right so we're back so to compare this does kind of look like if you guys can see this it does look like the 500 kind of the way the setup is even the laces are pretty similar in that regard the little latch right here similar so there are definitely some similarities so one of the main differences and this is what i think what makes this boot so different right so the inside of this um is your typical tongue the inside of this is wild i know you probably can't see it well here but it's like a strap and that is what is pushing your foot kind of forward a little bit and it makes it this is what's making it harder to adjust like like with this you can easily adjust come in and out and again i did go true to size on this this was this was pretty nice i maybe could have gone up a half size but true to size was fine 11 and a half so with this it is extremely tough to get your foot in like putting your foot in here is wild but once your foot is actually in here i do think the 12 and a half is too big everyone kept saying you should either go up a full size or go up a size and a half and i was thinking to myself you know what size and a half sounds ridiculous let's see what a full size up is and see do i really need it or could i have gotten away i don't think an 11 and a half in this would be good i do think i could have gotten with a 12. i think a 12 would have been fine initially getting your foot in yes it is a little weird it is a little hard a little strenuous but once your foot is in there this right here even with it pushing in and maybe because my foot's narrow but even with this back part kind of pushing my foot because it's at an angle like if you see it it's not straight up right because this would be straight up this is a tilt this is what you're really doing right it is a tilt not straight up as you can see 
even with that, because this is a wide toe, this is not for a narrow foot. My foot is probably like here because I have a narrow foot. This extra space makes it big. So maybe in the toe area, it would be cool, but in this area, it is a little big. So for sizing purposes, let me see, I'm gonna put it on so that way you guys can see, see the struggle, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely too big. I mean, I'm still gonna wear it because I have it. It's kind of hard to sell these things and re-get your size. So I will keep it, but I know going forward, I don't need to get this whole huge size. So my toe is like right here. That's a lot of space to me. If my toe was here, here to here, that's a lot of space. And because my foot is narrow, it's here, which means there's a lot of space here. So to me, this is a 12 and a half. If you have a narrow foot, now I can't speak for people with wide feet, but if you have a narrow foot, like I have a narrow foot, listen here. You might be able to get away true to size, half size up at the most is all you need. You do not need to listen to these people telling you to go up a full size, a full size and a half. It's craziness. You don't need it. It's going to be way too big. And so you might have to wear thicker socks with this. Now, as far as the materials and everything, it's very similar again to the 500. So the beginning, this whole part, the mesh, all of this, it is extremely similar to the 500. If you have a 500, know what a 500 feels like, even though the bottom of it is different. It is the, the look and the aesthetic, just in a higher version of it. But the bottom part does have a nice, nice hard grip on it. I am interested. Now, my wife thinks I did buy this. I'm not going to front. I legitimately bought this because me and her were going on a hike. And I was like, huh, let me try it out. I don't want to wear Tim's on a hike. But I was like, maybe this might be cool. And it still kind of looks stylish. She thinks it's not going to be something I want to wear on the hike because I'm going to mess it up. It's going to get muddy and, and whatnot. But that was the purpose of why I bought it. We'll see. You know, I may try to listen to wisdom, right? <laughs> but it's a, it's a nice shoe. I Again, I am pleased. I don't think I bought a Yeezy yet that I was, let me not say yet. I haven't bought a Yeezy that I did not enjoy. I think with all of them, I thought all of them have been nice. The different variations, whether 700, 350, 500, the boot 450 all these videos i have up you guys can check it out so yeah but this is a it's a sturdy shoe it's really nice it is comfortable it's just a little big that's the only gripe i have is that i wish i had just gone and said you know what let me just go through the size or let me go with a 12 because a 12 and a half going up a full size from my true to size is way too big, especially with the narrow foot. Now, again, if you have a wider foot, this may be the route you have to go. But for those of you who have narrow feet, like I have a narrow foot and again, my foot is here. No, sorry, right here. That's a ton of space in between and it's narrow. So all of this extra space on the side is just huge to me. But, you know, I mean, I'm still gonna wear maybe just a thicker sock or something like that. I normally wear thin socks, but it'll be all good. But you guys leave your thoughts. Have you guys checked this out? Is this a new shoe? I think this is a nice little shoe right here. I mean, obviously I'm never getting rid of my Tims, but this is definitely like a nice shoe. And so definitely a boot that I would rock. So let you, you guys let me know what you think. How did you uh, like it? If you got your hands on it, how comfortable do you find it to be? As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day, weekday, weekend, whenever you're listening, however you're listening. I thank you for listening. Till next time. I do want to say, so this is new, but this is the outro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you guys for sticking out to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for some of the other content that you see up right now. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post bell notifications so that we don't miss any of this amazing content. Share, share, share.